Hey, Amy. Hey, Taylor. Happy Pride! Happy Pride, Pride Month! Yay! Do you know what this is? I don't. This is the cover of Popular Electronics, January 1975. Ooh, that's... That's that, a while back. That's before both of our times. It was... Uh, somewhere in there. I mean... What we have is the world's first mini computer kit, the Altair 8800. Altair. So, you know what we talked about in 77, the three, yeah. the, 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 the 77 Trinity comes out. Yeah. And those are the first computers mm -hmm. marketed for home use. Well, this was the very first and it was a kit. That's you had to build it. <laughs> but it allowed you to build your own computer and have it at your house, which no one had ever done before. Right. Oh. Clicking over. Okay. In October of 1975. Okay. Okay. In the same journal, there's an ad for something called an MSI, and it's an Altair clone. Are they already cloning they, this it? Is the first clone. Yeah. Everything. It's it's a it's a kit. And you build it yourself. And all of the boards. This thing was like the size of like the PEB. Yeah. All of the boards in it were interchangeable with the Altair, yeah. um, and so you could buy an MSI. That's now, MSI later became famous because it was the computer that Matthew Broderick used in War Games. War Games! That's, yes. that's, they're, 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 therein lies our nostalgia. Yes, so that that's just tying it all together. Yeah. God, Matthew Broderick's like four years old here. Yes, yes. So. So. So, uh, so the good people at the High Nibble have come up with the High, the High Nibble. Nibble. Okay. Have come up with um, an Altair 8080 replica kit, and we're gonna build it. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, oh yeah. See, cause it's got all those switchy doos. That's awesome. I know. That looks so cool. I'm so excited. All right, so we're gonna build it, okay. and it's gonna take a minute. So this yeah, is gonna be a lot of of um, be some soldering. solder pauses. Soldering. Solder pause. Solder pauses. All right, so we've got here's our little baggie of parts. Okay. And the whole thing runs on a ESP32 oh, chip. Look how cute it is. <coughs> I guess I Every should mention this. Every single little spacer has yeah. its own little slot I, in that, there. That is what I'm thinking I'm most excited about. I like the colors. And then I'm going to pull this out. Inside. And here is the circuit board. Nice. Oh, everyone, please bear with me. Yes, I do have laryngitis again. <laughs> but I'm, I'm doing okay. I sound worse than and then it's a lot of the, the box is designed to hold it once oh, you're done. But here's let me hold like that. the front. Give me that. Yeah, yeah. Give me that. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're gonna build a whopper. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, that is what it is. Essentially. All right. Okay, so it's got two things that have to be surface mounted. Okay. And they are the um the ram for the esp32 okay. and uh, uh, the sd card slot i gotta solder that on so i'm gonna pull those two things out and we're gonna get to soldering okay step one just had to add the legs so yeah that has been accomplished Let's see it was on this end. She did such a good job that I couldn't even tell. <laughs> okay, so we soldered in the surface mount ram. We sure did. The little capacitor and resistor that go with it. There was supposed to be a resistor pack in the bag, and I'm sure there was and we lost it, but uh, we didn't have it. We couldn't find it. So we spent a while looking. <laughs> um, so I had to bodge that with a little, oh, let me move little, on. little family. Of a little family of, of uh, 10k we're like, resistors. We're like, will six. this work? Yeah. 
So, and then we just did the headers. That was super easy. Yeah. Just soldering yeah, the headers on there. Absolutely no problem at all whatsoever. And now, now we're at a point where we can test it. So we're gonna hook it up to a computer right. and run a terminal program. Okay. And all right. So. Yeah. Made to bring her around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hang tight. Hang tight. Hey, everybody. So I'm just gonna open TerraTerm. And we're gonna do the serial. And we gotta set up the port for. I would ask us to do it. Yeah, this is all on the website. Yeah. We're setting. It's running. And. Um. Oh. There we go. Okay. All right. Congratulations uh, and welcome. Okay, let's get that. So, according camera. to the website, this error is normal at this stage. Right. And congratulations and welcome. <laughs> uh, yes. um, oh, I forgot to mention. Yeah, we soldered in <coughs> the. Uh, this oh, is the other go. surface mount with the SD card oh, um, yeah, SD slot. Card. So we got it all. So now we are. Done with that part. On to the next. Okay. And one of two of the pieces of cut acrylic are to help you place you everything that. perfectly. Okay. Now the other piece of acrylic that okay. you were getting. I did not do. Why did I even hand it to you? I don't know because my fingernails are limiting my ability. To be because you're so pretty, you don't <laughs> want to mess them up. I don't have this problem. It makes them a little <laughs> thicker. I can't get underneath it. But I, I did a great job of handing you. Now look, it just goes they wear them like a hat. Now we just uh I'm just gonna bend all these guys so they stay in so place. So they stay where they need to stay. Can't wait to Alright. Whopper. Whopper, whopper. Now see? Perfection Perf achieved. Yes. And now we just as in all things slide that off and do the next ones and we're gonna do that one two three four times okay so we've got a few of the LEDs yep. and their um, the resistors in place these don't have the resistors yeah. yet. but we should be able to test it at this point okay. so I'm going to pop in the, 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 our, the our doodad boy. here And you got the card. I'm gonna throw in the SD card. Now, one of the things in the box was a little. We're just gonna plug this into power. Okay. Um, Don't mess up my little resistor. Mm -mm. One of the things in the box was a little test lead. Oh. Here, give it the old test arena. So that one works. First of all, that goes to nowhere, so I don't know what that one should be. That one works. That one is not working. Don't know why. Works, works, works. I'm not sure which one gives us that last one either. Oh, it's that one. Next. All right, now, same idea. We've got power here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Power here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Done! Mm -hmm. We got all the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. LEDs soldered in yes. with their accompanying resistor friends. Resistor friends. Race out of the way. Mm. Oh, it looks so nice. Um, mm -hmm. now we're no. going to do, there's just some sort of assorted, like, capacitors and stuff, and then we're going to do these, um, yeah. chip sockets, all the chip yeah. sockets, and then, um, and, and then we'll be back. Yes. We're back. Ahoy. Ahoy, ahoy. So, mm -hmm. we've done the next bit. 
that's adding the sockets for these chips and each socket also gets a little capacitor so socket yes. capacitor and there's 10 on the front mm -hmm. and one on the back we then also did this series of pin headers and the two db9 connectors so now much, much has been done now we're ready to pop the chips in so okay um there are Look at this six beast. of these are 74HC595. Now, U7, 8, 9, and 10 are 74HC165. That should be, yep, 165. Last but not least, on the back, <coughs> U11 is this uh, Max 3232 chip. Mm -hmm. Got it, I think, probably. <laughs> Hard to tell. I think it goes in this way. Okay. Bam. That's how far we are. Okay. So all of these switches get their own pair of resistors. Yeah. Just as all of the chips get their own little capacitors. That's okay. All right. Okay. It's time for the switches, which is the part I've been looking for. So we're going to use the... I had to reverse this picture because it was backwards on the internet. Um, mm. I did. Blue, blue, red, so we red. added the, you got you've got two pieces of plexiglass. The top yeah. one's clear. The second one's the one Amy showed you earlier that's got yes. the printing on it. There's actually these eight millimeter spacers so it doesn't between. Rest up against it. Just yeah. a good idea. And I'm then we just that. you know, can you know, put these screws on the back to hold it in place. There's actually a back piece we're gonna add later. So now we just add our switches. So we're gonna do four blue. Four red. Four red and um we're gonna be just like Matthew Brosh. We're gonna be just like haven't we always? Well, we're just like I want. Then okay. Get, Excuse me. Get the get the fancy glasses. Matthew Broderick is our spirit god. Yeah, there's a spirit animal. For this project. He doesn't know that. No, of course not. It'd be weird if he did. <laughs> hey, Matthew Broderick. How you Matthew, doing? If you're Leave watching, a comment. You know. <laughs> Let us know. Drop us a line. Okay. So I got the first set of switches on. I haven't soldered them yet because the first thing you do is you put this little spacer dealy back on to ensure placement. Yeah, okay, I did think of uh, everything. That's a good no, right. Fine, so you want them to all be perfectly spaced. That's, that's hard. Ah! <laughs> and now, it, to solder them. It looks really Star Wars, doesn't it? It does. It looks like the rank. The, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. get out of my head mm -hmm. where you live. All right, we're going to solder some things. Soldering. Put some more switches on. Solder time. BRB. Bye. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> now, I've put tape over the screws because we're about to take these nuts off to put them back on. Okay. But um, the switches look so crispy. cool. And the analog feel of these is just... Mm, and we're done! It's a really Love. sturdy case. The yeah. whole thing really just holds together. Except for this bottom part, which has to be Velcroed and... We may have misplaced the Velcro. <laughs> it definitely was in the kit because I remember seeing it. Right. But, uh, We're good at that. Anyway, the kit went together nicely. Here's it looks the really back. Cool. We've got the, the processor and all the dealies. The uh, SD card you just decide, do in through the side. Theoretically, that's the same for the reset button. 
Mm. Although there's a reset button on the controller, Control so you don't necessarily need that. And we did it. We did it. So we'll play with play with it more later. To be continued. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Bye, merge if it make you happy. And comment. And comment. Nice, com nice comments. And um, we'll play with this more. Um, in a future video. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Happy Pride. Happy Pride, Mom. And boop.